The endless journey to acquire knowledge can lead a person to realize that their lifelong beliefs are wrong, that what was thought to be worth fighting for is part of a large and evil system. This is the tale of Morpheus, a leader who helped many humans to free their minds, but who never comprehended that he was part of the same evil system that controlled the world. As one of the leaders of the resistance, Morpheus paved the way for the one to save humanity, yet he was a victim of manipulation. Morpheus fought for humanity and hoped that what Neo achieved, no one could undo. It was because of this blind hope that he lost his life at Zion. But perhaps his story is not yet over. Maybe he is still alive somewhere. What happened to Morpheus? Will we ever see him again? Welcome to Matrix Explained. of the real. Morpheus was slightly first introduced as a terrorist in a news report, but his true story begins when he was just a young man recently freed from the Matrix. After being rescued, Morpheus quickly rose up the ranks of Zion's military, but on the side, he was being trained for another important mission given to him by someone within the Matrix. The objective of that special training was for him to find the One. That is why there are those of us who have spent our entire lives searching the Matrix, looking for him. Although his true purpose was to find the prophesied savior of humanity, this did not prevent him from falling in love with another red pill, Niobe. However, their relationship was dissolved by the Oracle. Niobe. Captain Niobe? She used to be with Morpheus. Now she's with Locke. What happened? Morpheus went to the Oracle. After that, everything changed. Yeah. Their relationship was not convenient for the Oracle, because Niobe was a more rational individual than Morpheus, not easily manipulated. She could have dissuaded Morpheus from fulfilling his purpose. During his youth, Morpheus was a joyous person. He danced and socialized. His energy was what conquered Niobe's heart. But later, his obsession with the Oracle's prophecies turned him into a fanatic who only lived to find the One. I remember. I remember you used to dance. I remember you were pretty good. If Morpheus and Niobe's relationship persisted, Morpheus would have not sacrificed himself for Neo because Niobe would have stopped him. Or she would have been the one to go in and save Morpheus instead of Neo. Thus, Neo would have never died at the hands of Smith, and the Anomaly's code would have never been activated. Neo needed to die to then be reborn as the One. You got the gift, but it looks like you're waiting for something. What? Your next life, maybe. Who knows? Now, after Morpheus realizes that the Oracle's entire story has been a lie, he naturally stops trusting her. After everything that has happened, how can you expect me to believe you? From then on, Morpheus never heeded the Oracle's words again. Then, in the Matrix Resurrections, when the Analyst was beginning his experiments with Neo and Trinity, rumors of his rising in power reached the Oracle's ears. The Oracle sent a warning to Morpheus but he did not listen to her. He did not believe that what Neo had achieved could be destroyed. But as rumors of this new power spread, he ignored them. He was certain what you had done could not be undone. This showed that Morpheus's devotion to the Oracle's prophecies was gone. His distrust of the Oracle is what caused Zion's destruction. Sadly, the story of Zion's downfall and the Oracle's final warning to the humans was just a brief exposition line in Matrix Resurrections. A new movie, maybe not necessarily Matrix 5 could be about the machine's civil war, but from Morpheus' perspective as the Grand Chancellor of Zion, who had his dreams of destroying the Matrix doused after the revelation that he had been lied to all his life. His faith in Neo is the only thing he has left, but eventually Zion is destroyed and Morpheus can do nothing but watch his city crumble. Or how about a movie with a modern twist? 
in which Morpheus is still alive and reveals that everything we saw in Matrix 4 was part of one big lie. Let us assume for a moment that what Niobe said about Zion and Morpheus were lies. What if Ayo is meant to be the new Zion? Niobe now works for the machines and Morpheus still lives. What if the city of Ayo is nothing more than the Zion of the new Matrix cycle created by the analyst? If so, then the city of humans and machines is also destined to be destroyed. Let's think about this for a moment. The city of Ayo is a more utopian version of Zion. The city has a false sky and its citizens can synthesize and grow food. The humans of the Matrix don't care if their sky or food are not real. They simply want to live in the comforts of the simulation, just as the analyst said. You don't give a shit about facts. It's all about fiction. The only world that matters is the one in here. And you people believe the craziest shit. Maybe Matrix 5 could be about the classic Morpheus, who is still alive and trying to warn Neo and Trinity that they are still trapped in the Matrix, that Io is part of the system and that they must fight to escape. Maybe Neo and Trinity think that they are the heroes of the story, but they are still trapped between simulations. It's the perfect excuse to bring back Lawrence Fishburne, and then we would have the real Morpheus waking Neo up one last time. Sure, we can make theories about how our favorite characters could return in Matrix 5, but Morpheus is just one of those characters that if to return would make the diehard fans go crazy. Around the time The Matrix Resurrections was about to premiere, writer David Mitchell, who co-wrote the fourth film, was asked about the franchise's future, and he mentioned that Matrix 4 left many questions unanswered. He also briefly mentioned the machine's civil war. So the concept of a Morpheus movie is not necessarily off the table. It is within the realm of possible Matrix spin-offs. This is not over yet! I will sequel franchise spin-off! But do you agree? Will the real Morpheus return in Matrix 5? Is his story yet to be concluded? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.